Hey beer tubers, Ryan here. Uh, just going to do a uh, start of a video here today. Um, a little bit of an update and then I'm going to be heading up later to uh, to Orange, so we'll get to that later in the video. Uh, I just opened a, uh, a partial bottle I had filled of my Belgian Porter homebrew and um, it actually came out darker than I thought it was going to be. I, I, You really can't see much through it. so. Uh, it definitely needs more time. It's only been a week in the bottle, so I'll uh, I'll get to that once it's uh, ready to have somewhat of a review on it. And um, another little update was this box right here. I went to uh, FreshHops.com and ordered a bunch of hops from them. So I have uh, two ounces of Amarillo, two ounces of Centennial. Two ounces of Simcoe, two ounces of Nugget, which I just used in that Belgian Porter, and then four ounces of Citra. So that's going to be awesome. Never worked with that hop before. And four ounces of Sriracha Ace. So another hop I have yet to use. All the other ones I've used in various beers. Um, specifically, in my last two I used. Uh, Nugget and the Simcoe and Centennial and Amarillo. So, um, looking forward to working with Citra and Sriracha Ace. I'm sure you're all aware of the citrus and floral quality of the Citra hops and then Sriracha Ace, Japanese variety, is supposed to have a real nice uh, lemony uh, quality to it. So, um, I, I'm looking to brew the day before Thanksgiving. Not sure when this video will go up, but. I will film that and you'll uh, see what I'm making. Alright, we're here in Old Town Orange. Gonna head up to the brewery provisions and uh, hopefully grab a bite to eat as well. All right, found the brewery provisions here in here in Orange. So we're gonna go in, get our balls of Black Tuesday. Cheeses, I need a lot of cheeses. The coolers over there. Let's go. Some of that's uh, only stuff you can get here, like the uh, Gunga Galunga. So there's their uh, meats and cheeses and other things. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed my trip up to the Brewery Provision Store. Um, I did pick up some coasters. 
you're going to be doing any kind of trading with me, I'll uh, send one of these to you. So the brewery provisions, as you saw, was just a bottle shop they have that the brewery bought and opened up recently. The brewery is actually uh, maybe another 10, 15 miles north of, of that spot in Orange. But um, it seemed like a real nice ball shop. Fortunately, I was strapped for time, so I didn't get to spend much time uh, looking around, checking things out, or even sitting down doing tasting uh, or tasting of any of the cheeses and meats they had. But anyway, I showed you what I picked up. I picked up the, uh, the local red, which um, I've never seen this one before, but it's American Red Ale. They partially age 25% of the uh, batch in American oak barrels. And they um, they hop it up with Centennial hops, and you get talking about getting some oak on there, rooms of toffee, citrus, herbs, vanilla. Um, so this one sounds really good. I've yet to see this one down in San Diego, so I want to pick it up. And then another cool part of going to that store is uh, a lot of beers I can get down here, but this is something I definitely can't because it is Gunga Galunga which is a provision special release. So you can only buy this beer. I assume that, I assume you could get it at the brewery itself, but if not, the only other place is their store in Old Town Orange. So this is a black ale brewed with Galanga, kefir, lime, and fermented 100% Brennanomyces yeast. So uh, this should be really interesting. I mean, a dark ale with Brett. Um, be really curious to check this one out. And uh, the main reason why for that trip up there was this right here. Ball of Black Tuesday. This is their infamous Imperial Stout Asian Bourbon Barrels. This year's, the label says 18.2%, which is a little lower than I thought it was. Um, so I'm not sure if that's accurate, if they changed the label from last year or not, but... Not the cheapest beer I've had, but um, I did manage to snag two balls of it, so really looking forward to try this. I will definitely review one on camera, and I'll probably sit on the other one and open it up probably a year from now. So that's the plan with that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the footage. It was real quick. Um, until next time, cheers.